I am here today to discuss with you my research um, on a current personnel practice in educational administration. Um, initially, it took place as part of a capstone project for personnel administration, and it was examining um, collabor collaboration and collaborative leadership within the scope of public schools. We try to get our students engaged in uh, clinical inquiries, basically as an investigative inquiry to see what are some of the practices that are presently occurring in our schools. And as part of our personnel class, uh, and Madeline being a student in the class, her project was to look at, uh, through an investigative inquiry lens, as to what is happening in the concept of collaborative leadership. How, does it, uh, how is it occurring in the schools, and what impact does it have on the overall success of the school's operation, specifically looking at the role of the administrator and how they build collaborative leadership and how they maintain it over time. So the investigative inquiry is putting you into the schools and seeing what's going on there. And I experienced firsthand um, over a, a in the field examination that took place over a course of four months how disjointed Things can be, whether it be a methodology, pedagogy, or even just student learning and accountability without the communication and common dialogue that collaborative leadership helps to establish. The most exciting aspect for me was um, be seeing this personnel practice firsthand sparked my interest to investigate further on how we can establish a change in, in collaborative leadership. So it came from an investigatory uh, study to more of a field examination and a, a clinical practice and, and an observation and actually working with um, those individuals in an everyday scope of public education. The research that Madeline was engaged in helps to um, affirm a lot of our beliefs as far as uh, the different uh, concepts that we're bringing to our students that um, the, the leadership that's needed in today's schools is highly dependent upon creating collaborative cultures. So Madeline being out there in the field mm -hmm. and actually getting a chance to do this investigation in a real life situation, she began to identify the practice and also began to identify the positive benefits from having a collaborative culture and having administrators practicing collaborative leadership. So for our department, it's another affirmation that this is indeed the direction we need to be encouraging our graduates to uh, move into as far as their roles in administration. Once we build that partnership within our school, we can begin to work um, with university partnerships with um, teacher education programs, or preparing our students to be teacher leaders and making that action of collaboration and those practices a natural part of the everyday workings of teaching in your schools. It helps us to get out in the field and apply the practices um, within our program, but also to see how we need to adapt those to every, every culture and every environment. And I, I strongly think that I maybe not have would have investigated that without that opportunity and that venue to do so. So unquestionably the program has given me that venue and opportunity to, to begin my knowledge but then allowed me to pursue that individually on more of a personal level.